Hello, South Africa, and welcome to PPMC Magazine's Queen Talk with me, Wayne Stafford. We're coming to you from the vibrant at Santa Natal here in Santon. The Mr. Supernational South Africa 2023 has been announced, and in this episode, we'll be profiling the winner. It's none other than Tyler Ribeiro. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Queen Talk with me, Wayne Stafford. So as promised, we've got the newly crowned Mr. Supranational South Africa with me here today. Congratulations, Mr. Tyler Ribeiro. Welcome. Thank you, Wayne. It's a pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. Tyler, tell me, I mean, it's almost, what, two months since the crowning? I mean, it's amazing how the time's flown. Yeah, I can't believe one month has actually just come up and disappeared into thin air. It's been, it's been a good ride. It's really mm. been, I, it's opened me up to so many new experiences just within this one month. And I must mm. say, I'm loving it all the way. I was just going to ask you now, I mean, has, how's this actually impacted your life? You know, going from, because you are a data scientist, you're a professional. Going from a professional, it's the first time, correct me if I'm wrong, that you enter a platform yes. like this. And then, just overnight, how has things changed? Drastic, if I can, <laughs> if I can put it lightly. Um, yeah, because I'm just used to working and then going home and then just doing normal fitness things or, you know, just hanging out with friends. And now, it's become such a thing where you have to do time management. You have to put in a whole new mindset of, I need to get this done, I need to get this done. And you don't want to rush things. So you kind of need to plan everything nicely and just give enough time for everything. So. Mm. Just due to everything picking up, time management is kind of the main thing that has impacted my life a lot within this month. So I stand up earlier in the mornings and I go to bed a little bit later just to make sure that I do fit in the whole day. Now what the viewers don't know is that the Mr. Supernational South Africa had a two year absence. So we are back on a global stage for 2022, which is rather very exciting. Now tell me, we know that there's a few other well-established, well-known uh, titles in South Africa for males. Mm. Now, you know, now Mr. Supernational is an additional one. Do you feel that we need in society more positive male role models? Yes, I definitely do believe so. I mean, if we just look at the impact that the woman pageantry has done to the world, I definitely feel like the world needs some more male pageantry role models. I mean, just a male model that can inspire, an aspirational model that can just enlighten people and just give them some sort of inspiration and motivation just to kind of live healthier, live better and just enjoy life a little bit more. We spoke about it the other day. We said that, you know, the world of pageantry has really evolved. It's really become empowerment platforms. Now, speaking of empowerment platforms, you know, it's more than just about the title. You know, from the organization, the international organization, they really encourage for all the candidates, national and across the board, internationally, to establish or have their own from the ground of project, which is a CSI charity initiative, mm -hmm. which obviously aligns and lies close to your heart. So what organization or what is your uh, from the ground of project? Yes, and I just want to add on to that. That's one of the main reasons why I actually entered Mr. Supranational. It's just for what they stand for and what the fact that they want to give back to the community and that that's one of the main criteria that they focus on. So something that lies very close to my heart is people with disabilities. I always feel like in the past they have kind of been discriminated against not being feeling valuable enough. And that's where I started my campaign, Valuable with the slogan, I'm able, therefore I'm valuable. Just to also give them a fighting chance, just to be a voice to them where they feel like they don't have a voice. Mm -hmm. So we want to train them to either become entrepreneurs or to actually fit in into the normal workspace um, where they want to one day maybe be in. Or otherwise more so, we also actually go to the workspace and then we educate them on how they can just slightly change their way of work just so that they can also accommodate these individuals so that they too can also make an impact in the world. I just want the viewers out there to also just know what does the word supranational mean? Because you know, a lot of people go, hey, you're Mr. Supernatural. And yeah. it's, not, it's, not, it's not Mr. Supernatural. Yeah. What does the word supranational mean? The amount of times I must correct people, but then I do, and I do it with pride. I do it with um, 
like such like in a way it's where supranational stands for not only influencing your own nation but going across nations being an inspiration and an aspirational role model not only to your nation but to see how you can actually go forward and influence nations across the world mm. and that's in essence what a supranational person is speaking about going across the world right <laughs> The time, the countdown has really begun. You're going to be representing South Africa now. On the 15th of July, to be exact, is the International Mr. Supranational uh, competition with yes. 40 countries competing. No now, sense. how do you feel about that? How, <laughs> how, what, what, what preparations uh, are we getting into for this? Yes, yeah, so I'm feeling a little bit nervous, but I think the excitement is so big that it just overcompensates everything. And I'm just <laughs> like, I'm, every morning I wake up with a smile just knowing mm one day less to go. Mm -hmm. um, so how I've been prepping is kind of just staying healthy, have, living a healthy, balanced lifestyle. So mm -hmm. making sure I go regular to the gym, eating healthy, as well as mindset. Um, I need mm -hmm. to stay mentally strong and I need to know what I stand for and what my platform stands for going forward into this competition and making sure that I do carry that over efficiently and also just embracing what's coming for me because I've never done something like this before. So I need to prepare myself. There's going to be a whole lot of stuff that I'm going to not be used to. So I need to prepare myself mentally for that mm -hmm. and just enjoy it to the best of my abilities. But don't tell me, obviously your schedule is quite hectic and there's a lot of preparations and things going into it. But when you close that front door at home, <laughs> who is Tyler Ribeiro? Yo, when I close that front door, I'm that person that goes onto the couch and puts on a good movie, bucket of popcorn, and that's where you find me. I'll even maybe sometimes watch two movies after one another. Yes. But on the other side, that's when I want to stay indoors. But sometimes as soon as that door shuts, it opens again because then I love going outdoors. And then I just enjoy nature. Mm. I do enjoy going like on hikes. Mm. And I do sometimes extreme adventures such as river rafting and skydiving even. So mm. I do enjoy the outdoors quite a lot. But when I do do indoors, a uh, movie and good music is where you'll find me. But you know, it's like... I'm just thinking to myself, good music, lovely movies. Are you doing this alone? Is anyone <laughs> special, someone in your life? <laughs> so for now, no. For now, I'm still single. I do have my eye on somebody special, but for now, I'm taking it slow and I'm still focusing on myself and on this journey going forward, um, just so that I can be the best me at this point. Tell me, Tyler, uh, with the international now coming up, right? And after the international, should you now... Uh, say you don't win, right? You've still got a whole year mm. ahead of you before the, the next Mr. Supernatural gets crowned. What do you want to walk away from? What, what, like, what legacy, mm. rather, do you want to leave behind? So that's also a very good question. From my side, I thought of it, and I want to be that person that also, because South Africa doesn't know a lot about the male pageantry yet, especially Mr. Supernatural. So I want to be that person to raise even more awareness of the brand within our own nation. Just make sure that they do know what we stand for and just that we can show them going forward what are we going to do and just what's to come. So my plan is to be basically a brand, ambas uh, a brand ambassador for the um, brand going forward and just also to carry on with my valuable project. I mean, we're starting small, we're making it sustainable and then just carrying on through that, reaching more people, reaching more companies just so that we can make a difference in everybody's lives. Look, we've had two representatives abroad, right? We've had 2019 Rachel Gina that placed top 10, as well as Aksha Bubel. He was the last one, 2020. He reigned actually into 2021. He crowned you. Now, yes. he, and he didn't place. So is there any pressure to <laughs> get a higher placement than Rochelle? You know, like, personally, I would say yes. Like, I mean, you want to obviously represent the brand well, and you want to show them that you are capable of um, placing higher than the previous candidate. But at the end of the day, I do believe you are, if you stay true to yourself and you just go out and enjoy the experience and actually broadcast what South Africa stands for, then you've kind of already won. I know it's a cliche thing to say, but I mean, mm. at the end of the day, mm. we go in as South Africa. You want to show them what South Africa shows to the world and then come back with all of the other nations' cultures and then bring that back mm. to South Africa and just kind of see how you can work with that going forward. So yes, a higher placement definitely would be amazing. But I know I'm going there for the experience and being the best me and the best candidate for the brand of South Africa. No, I just want to say in the same breath, I mean, I think many people forget is that you are already a winner. 
that's the reality. You are yeah. a national title winner. So whether you mm. go there in our place, you still come back as the winner of South Africa. Just finally, Tyler, what I want to hear is with your taking on this journey as the very first time, right? Your first timer. When we open up the 2024 entries, how would you encourage someone that has always thought about it, but a little bit apprehensive to do it, or a little bit scared, or what, what words of encouragement would you have for them? Yes, there's a motto. I mean, Nike says it well, just do it. I mean, that's kind of, <laughs> that's kind of what got me to do it is, if you've always thought of maybe doing something like this before, mm. just do it. Just mm. close your eyes, take that first step and just do it. And then once you've in it, go full out. Don't, don't regret it one second because you've entered, go for full out. And I mean, that's also what I kind of also say, consistency. Mm. If you just carry on day by day, slowly, slowly, just keeping that consistency. If you look four months forward, like I do now, you'll just be like, wow, I've grown so much. And that's what this platform stands for. That's what I want people to also know is mm -hmm. you grow so much as a person, you find out who you are and who you're not, mm -hmm. and you just establish who you are as a person. So mm -hmm. definitely just do it and consistency once you've decided to do that move. Well, Tyler, it's really been such a pleasure having you with us here at Queen Talk with me. And uh, we want to wish you absolutely everything of the best with the international. You, like Amen. I said to you, you're already a star, you're already a winner. Just go and shine and uh, make memories. I mean, it is definitely a, a once in a lifetime opportunity. No, definitely. I'll definitely do so. I'll take a lot of pictures and send them through. <laughs> but yeah, just from your side, thanks once again for the interview. It's been a pleasure. And yes, I can't wait for the next one. Thank you, Tyler. Well, there you've heard it from our very own Mr. Super Nationals of South Africa 2023, Mr. Tyler Ribeiro. Well, from me, Wayne Stafford and the team from PPMC Magazine, until next time, goodbye.